Hi guys, Terry here. Hey, today I want to talk to you about the Heidi Swap Mink Machine. So this is the large one. This is the original one. It has a 12-inch uh, opening here. There's a new um, mini one that is um, about this size and has a 6-inch opening. So it's more for card makers. Uh, this was the one that came out, I think this came out about seven or eight years ago. So, um, there's, um, there's many products that are available to go with the machine. And let me back up and just say that um, it is for putting foil. So it's a heat machine, it's a heat laminator, and it will uh, foil things that are made with a black toner image. So anything that has the black toner and you put the foil on it, put it through the machine, it will put foil on it. So it's beautiful for, um, you know, decorations in scrapbook pages, on cards. It would be beautiful to have um, something like this on your wedding invitations. So really, really cute stuff. So you can either buy products that have the toner images on them and then you put them through the machine and you can decide what colors of foil that you want. Um, they make uh, letters, um, all kinds of things that are made with the toner or if you have a laser jet you can print stuff with your own toner. They even make um, like a gel stuff that you can get and you can put your own design on there so you can use um, stamps or uh, draw with your own with that. Uh, I've, I've also seen people use uh, stencils and put the paste on with the stencil and then put the foil on it. So lots of ways that you can add foil to, um, to your papers. Um, speaking of papers, here is a Heidi Swap uh, 6x6 paper pack. So I got this some time ago, and it has um, the toner on the different uh, pieces of paper. So just a variety of paper designs. Uh, you can buy that in a pack, and then put it through your machine, and pick what color foil that you want on it. Um, notice on the packaging that it's got a 3 here. So there's different heat settings from 0 to 5. And um, sometimes the packaging will tell you, if you buy the Heidi Swap packaging, it'll tell you what, what heat setting. So three is pretty common for a standard piece of cardstock. And then if you've got something a little bit more delicate, you can do um, the lower settings. Oh, and I'll tell you too that in the owner's manual, there is a chart in here that says, so for like one, if it was lightweight coated paper, uh, glassine bags, um, yeah, the little, those little gift bags, you could just put that on them with a one. That doesn't take much heat. And then lightweight, uncoated paper, vellum, glossy stickers would be a two. And then uh, heavier weight, coated paper um, would be a three. Uncoated cardstock and printed overlays is a four. And then five, all the way up to five would be for chipboard. So I've got this chart on my website and I'll have a link down below in the description to my web post about this. Um, I've got links to the different products too. If you use my Amazon links, I make a few cents, um, but by no means I'm not trying to sell you anything. Um, there's also uh, just beautiful, beautiful products available that have the black on them and you just put the foil down and put it through the machine and that will be nice and shiny when you get done with it. So, pretty cool. Um, Gina K sells um, these things called foil mates. Although I did recently look on her site, she has some other foil stuff, but she doesn't have these foil mates anymore. I think I bought these three or four years ago. So same idea. It's got the um, black toner, and then you put your piece of foil on there. So she's got thank you and happy birthday, happy birthday, Christmas sentiments. And then just a variety pack of congrats and hello friend and you're the best. And uh, so let's let's try making something with one of these. I want to show you how it works. I've got it plugged in. I thought I had it plugged in. Let's see here. Do you have to hold it down? Oh, I know what it is. I gotta turn it on. 
there's an on switch here in the back. So turn that on. Here's the reverse and front switch here if you needed to make the um, the folder come back out if you got it stuck in there, but I've never gotten it stuck. So I will put it, I think I'll put it on a three, and I will use these coated card stocks. Let's make this one with a blue. So um, there's different brands of foiling. Um, just make sure that it is heat activated. This one's called reactive foil. I think they're all, that's the confusing part is they're all called something different. Um, but you do want one that's going to react with heat. And then it also comes with a folder. I think it's called a transfer folder. So it's just heavy duty plastic. You probably also could use parchment paper. But this is just what we're going to put our paper into. The light's still blinking red. It's going to turn green when it is fully heated up. And I've got my foil here. So I'm just going to cut it the width. You want to make sure you cover all the places that there's that black foil. I don't know if you heard it or not, the machine just beeped telling me that it's ready. Okay, I hear you. And we're just going to place this in here, covering up all the places with black. Um, if you don't cover it up with black, that black will get on your folder, but they sell packs of the folders if you need to replace it. And then we are simply going to, I'm going to, with the folded end of the folder, I'm going to put that inside the machine here. And it will, I'm just laying it in there until it takes it. So now it'll take a little bit of time to come out the back here. Here it comes. So it's pretty fascinating. Um, I of course bought the original one, but I do like the idea of the smaller one. Um, for the smaller one, um, it comes with a six inch folder, but you can buy a pack of the 12 inch folders and cut them in half. That'll work to go through there. And uh, yeah. You can also use a regular heat laminator. Um, they say that what's nice is this has the different temperature levels and that you can um, control the heat better. Um, they claim that the pressure is more even in this machine. Um, but you could buy these supplies and put them through a regular heat laminator. Um, this 12 inch one runs about $100. And then I think the smaller one is fifty to sixty dollars. They both do the same thing. It's just this one you can put a bigger piece of paper through. But you know, if I had the smaller one, um, I wouldn't have to foil this whole page. I could just do um, a little strip at a time. But now for the magic. Let me pull this off. And I don't know if the camera can show how nice and shiny they are now. So, really cute. So now I could use my brother's scan and cut to cut these out, or I could use a die um, and use that on card fronts. Isn't that pretty? I don't have a lot of different colors of foil. I started with this pack of, um, I got a blue one and a silver and a gold. Um, I've seen the rose gold, that'd be really pretty. And then I don't know if you can use this leftover foil for anything. Um, it's pretty too. You can see. Put that on here. It's cute too. So I'm not sure how you would glue that down. Maybe with some vellum tape or something. 
But that was my video. I just wanted to show you guys what all this machine did. Um, it would make a great Christmas present for a crafter. I think if you didn't have a lot of room in your craft room, I might recommend the uh, smaller one because I think you could do everything you wanted to do with the smaller one. Um, but yeah, that is the Heidi Swap Mink Machine. So subscribe if you haven't. It really helps me out on YouTube. And uh, put in the comments how you would plan to use a um, mink machine. So I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.